The three day is a um, 60 mile three day walk for breast cancer that raises funds and awareness um, for Susan G. Komen for the cure. And uh, so participants raise $2,300 that goes directly to Susan G. Komen and then walk uh, 60 miles over the course of three days um, to raise funds and awareness. Uh, fundraising every year is different. Um, raising $2,300 is, is challenging, but it's also a lot of fun. Uh, the biggest thing I do every year is I blog at leannewalker.com and um, write about my experience and write about training and um, why I walk, whom I'm walking for, um, how people can donate. I'm active on Twitter, uh, getting people to donate that way. Um, I'll, I'll sometimes throw out there like a $10 Tuesday and have people donate just $10 um, and, and that'll help me raise my my fundraising uh, and I'll write on Facebook reminding people to donate with a picture and a link um, but Facebook, Twitter and the blog make it just so easy to integrate everything all together. The best thing that I ever, I've ever done was two years ago I did the Facebook challenge and I Facebook messaged all of my friends on Facebook, every single one of them were like 500 friends or something crazy like that. And I had calculated how much each friend had to donate for me to meet my goal, and it was like $7. And so I encouraged everyone to donate $7. And I made, I don't know, 500 bucks in like 24 hours. The blog hasn't been as much of a fundraising uh, element as I thought that it would be because I have to get people there. Um, so I'll hand out business cards or something to get people to the blog, but just having it out there hasn't really helped my fundraising like I thought. I thought that if I wrote, you know, why I was walking, walking for my grandmother, walking for different friends, um, things like that. I thought people would just be drawn to that and give me all of their money, and that's not how that has actually worked out. So I have to, if I can get someone there, um, it works well, but just having it out there and maybe having it on my Facebook profile or my Twitter profile, that doesn't, doesn't raise funds like I thought it would. Twitter is great on the event, and I think this is a great thing about Twitter just in general, is you just live tweet events. And so getting to live tweet the three day, pictures of what we're eating for lunch, pictures of blisters, and you'll take a picture of that with your phone and I'll tweet that out to everybody. It helps people participate in the walk with you even though they're not there with you. Um, and so people will follow me on Twitter and get to experience that, the sea of pink tents that we stay in at night. Um, I'll tweet a picture of that or tweet a picture of my view laying back in my, my tent, what it looks like to see all, all of these other pink tents. I'm walking 60 miles, but there's so much fun and getting to share those little bits with people um, via Twitter has been awesome. Um, and just letting people know, hey, I made it 10 miles, you know, 20 miles to go, or I made it this far and, and this is what's happening now. And, and uh, that's encouraging for my family but also for probably people that, that don't know me, that haven't participated before, just to know what the event is all about. I think the best thing that I do for fundraising and for raising awareness is have a presence on Facebook, have a presence on Twitter, have a blog, uh, do get out there as much as you can, have some kind of brand, um, be consistent across all sorts of platforms. Um, I think if you just do one, you're short-sighted. Um, you can very easily link them together and. You know, you only have to send one text message and it goes to everything. Um, but hit the people that aren't on Twitter by having a blog and hit the people that don't know what a blog is by getting them on Facebook. Just being consistent across the board. I would love to have you uh, join me in the fight against breast cancer by donating to Susan G. Komen for the Cure.